Along the northern coast of Saudi Arabia is Rastanura, a narrow finger of land extending almost 10 kilometers into the Arabian Gulf. Running along its northeast shore is one of the most beautiful sand beaches on the Arabian Gulf Coast. Over the years, the kingdom developed and grew. New communities emerged, and industrial facilities sprang up all along the Gulf Coast. As time passed, a change was noticed in the coastal currents along the Najma beachfront. Saudi Aramco Community and Office Services first became aware of a problem in 1985 when it was necessary to place rocks in front of the 5,000 series beach houses to stop erosion of the ridge along the beach side of the houses. Five years later, further erosion was noticed in front of the 7,000 series houses. Rocks were positioned in that area as a preventive measure. By 1992, erosion began to break up the beach path and threaten the structure of the adjacent houses. At that time, rocks and concrete barriers were put in place. Through the following years, the beach along the Rastanura coastline continued to erode. Many techniques were studied, and several were used to try to contain the effects of erosion, sandbags, rocks, and concrete nothing worked. Even the combined effort of sandbags and rocks was ineffective. Finally, combination rock and concrete revetments were constructed. Although not a permanent solution, these revetments did prove to be temporarily effective. By the time the revetments had been constructed, 75 meters of sandy beach had been lost. In 1996, community services invited a contractor to perform a feasibility study to determine if their unique method of erosion control would be effective in our particular situation. The contractor had developed an alternative method to conventional erosion control. In this method, rugged geotextile tubes called undercurrent stabilizers are placed in position at the damaged area and then filled with a special flowable mix design concrete. Designed in a parallel series, these stabilizers are composed of two larger tubes anchored at each side by a series of three smaller tubes. A third tube runs along the top of the predetermined length depending on specific conditions such as water depth and current. Each stabilizer is grounded along the shore at right angles by a second tube arrangement that is later buried to create a hidden stationary base. Two sets of arrays were proposed, each with five fingers for a total of ten stabilizers. It was determined that the arrays would be most effective if positioned at the location shown here along the most damaged area of the beach. Spacing of the arrays was to be 600 feet wide and would affect between one and two kilometers of beach. Once in position, the sand carried south with the coastal currents would accumulate and eventually restore the beach to its original dimensions. The project was initiated in 1999 and began with the construction of an access road for trucks and heavy equipment. Part of the preparation work included removing a section of a concrete retaining wall that had been built previously. Once access had been accomplished, the coastline stabilizers were placed in position parallel to the coast. The special flowable mix design concrete was then pumped into the tubes. Next, the undercurrent stabilizers were positioned along the slope of the beach and into the gulf. Again, the special flowable design concrete was pumped into the tubes.
At times, this was a slow and tedious task, as the concrete had to be manually coaxed along the tubes to assure proper expansion. Once the first array was complete, work began on the second array. The same procedure was followed with the placement of the coastline stabilizer, followed by the placement of the five undercurrent stabilizers. both rays complete, only time to determine the success of the project. Almost immediately, signs of sand accumulation was noticed. A monitoring program has been established to measure beach and sand accumulations. By July 2000, it was obvious that the beach restoration project was producing positive results. It is estimated that it will be three years before final results can be quantified. However, it appears that the project will be successful. A final beach restoration stage has been planned. This includes landscaping such as the planting of trees and vegetation to secure the restored beach area and to reduce the possibility of future erosion. In all, however, it seems that Saudi Aramco has been successful in restoring an important feature of the northern area coastline. The company has also learned from this experience. We now have the foresight and ability to monitor our coastal areas for erosion and damage. The restoration of the Najma Beach represents much more than just preserving recreational resources or residential property. It demonstrates Saudi Aramco's commitment to the environment on both a local and global level.